All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tour of the neighborhood of Twilliger Town. It's one of the most popular neighborhoods in the area of like Twilliger Riverbend. Often people will think that Twilliger Town is like all of Twilliger, but it, it's not the whole thing, but it's one of the most popular and biggest communities in the area. And it's the day after we got fresh snow. So we're gonna get a nice winter tour. I'll show you some of the types of houses that are in the area. And uh, at some point, I'll also discuss some like rough pricing, so you have an idea what the average house would cost, but also what the average uh, townhouse or condo might cost. Just in case you're considering moving to the area, you'll get a pretty good feel for what the area feels like because we're going to be driving through it and uh, sticking the camera out the window so that you can check it out and see what it looks like. But uh, since we've just had fresh snow, you'll get to see what, it, what it's really like in the winter when there's a fresh snow. Uh, there's some pros and cons to the area. Some people really like Twilliger Town and, and the whole curb appeal that it has and everything, and other people hate it. So stay tuned and we'll show you around. Hey, but before we get into the actual tour of Twilliger Town, just want to let you know to hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. And if you'd like to download the latest market report from Twilliger Town, you can do that with a link in the description below. All you got to do is go to the website, uh, put in your name and email address, and then I'll send you the latest report for Twilliger Town. So Twilliger Town is located in southwest Edmonton in the area of Twilliger or Twilliger Heights. The way you get to it is if you're coming from like more central part of the city, you would take Twilliger Drive off of the white mud and follow that down until you get to uh, 23rd Avenue would be the quickest way to get to it if you're coming from more centrally located in the city. Whereas if you're coming from somewhere else, uh, you might take the Henday and then take Twilliger Drive from there. So that's the Twilliger Drive entrance coming from the white mud right down there. All right, so now we're headed southbound on Twilliger Drive, uh, making our way over to the 23rd Avenue. Uh, and I'm gonna turn left onto 23rd Avenue. That's basically the top of Twilliger Town. So Twilliger Town on the north, it's its border is basically 23rd Avenue, and on the south is essentially Anthony Henday Drive. Uh, and then on east and west, it, it's bordered by Twilliger Drive, and on the east side, I believe it would probably be Rabbit Hill Road. Right now, they're actually working on an expansion of Twilliger Drive, so there is some uh, construction material. This is, I think this is part of the second phase, or it might be still considered part of the first phase. They haven't done much work here compared to uh, the section from White Mud to uh, Rabbit Hill Road, which they've widened essentially, and they're gonna keep doing that down the distance so that there's more lanes. turning on to 23rd Avenue. One thing that's really nice about Twilliger Town is that it's just south of the Twilliger Recreation Center. Uh, and there's also two new schools there too. There's a Catholic school and a public high school, uh, which is called Lillian Osborne. Also with being Right south of the rec center, there's a pretty decent ETS station. Uh, I think it's called the Ledger ETS station. So there's quite a few buses that uh, go from there. So it's one of the best connected areas in Twilliger. Okay, so now I'm turning onto what's called Town Center Boulevard. And I'm just entering Twilliger Town now. So you can see the types of houses that we've got in here. This main road is a lot busier than the rest of Twilliger Town, so it's sort of like a, an artery road that goes through all, uh, all of Twilliger Town. So 
So yeah, there's a lot of single family homes in Twilliger Town. And a lot of them are pretty affordable. So there's quite a few like smaller single family homes. There's also bigger ones in here as well, but uh, a lot of smaller detached single family homes uh, with detached garages. So one thing that a lot of people like about Twilliger Town is you get these little front porches, which are all over the place in Twilliger Town. So it feels very small towny, hence Twilliger Town. It's also a very family friendly neighborhood. A lot of families seem to like it here. I've heard it's absolutely insane for Halloween trick-or-treating, like we're talking hundreds of kids. So if you like giving out candy, you might like Twilliger Town. And this is Tomlinson Common Park here on my left. And as you can see, some of these houses do exist that have front attached garages, but they're the bigger houses in Twilliger Town. But mo most of them are that type with the porch in the front and a detached garage in the back. So Twilliger Town first started getting built in the early 1990s and they finished building most of it uh, in the early 2000s. So probably about the, the, the oldest or the newest stuff you'll find here is like 2007, 2006, something like that. And they started going into the neighborhood just south of here called South Twilliger. But they almost feel exactly the same. Like it's almost like South Twilliger is a continuation of Twilliger Town in some ways. But it is not the original. So because of that, since they're not that old yet, um, most of them are still in pretty good shape, even if they haven't been renovated. Uh, and they'll just need minor cosmetic renovations for the most part. Uh, so you, you might find that if uh, it hasn't gone through any type of renovation, that you might need to do some flooring, some paint. Um, you might find some of the kitchen designs are a little outdated in their layout uh, and also their colors. So you might, if you wanted a super modern look, if you're comparing it to brand new homes, you would have to do a cosmetic renovation. Uh, so, uh, but, but the guts of the house should mostly be fine. You shouldn't really have to do anything with the electrical or plumbing. Uh, you might have to look at doing some windows at some point in the next 10 years or so, depending on how modern you want your windows to be if they haven't been replaced. But like I said, most of it was built in the 90s and into the early 2000s. So the windows are still modern. They're just not uh, the newest stuff out there. And then, of course, you might have to look at doing the shingles if those haven't been done and potentially getting a furnace. So the original furnaces in these places are not going to be high efficiency furnaces. A lot of people have upgraded those already, um, but that's something that you may want to do if you're comparing it to brand new homes or if you just like to lower your utility bill a little bit. I'd say this is definitely one of the most popular neighborhoods in Southwest Edmonton. There's also some houses like this. So these ones are actually half duplexes. Um, so there's still single family ownership. You don't pay any condo fees uh, and you just share a wall and you've got a party wall agreement. Uh, so it's the next best thing to having a detached single family home. And they're a little bit cheaper than detached single family homes. There's not a ton of them, but there is certain sections of Twilliger Town where you've got some of these half duplexes. Here's what some of the townhouses in Twilliger Town looks like. So these would be condos uh, where you'd pay condo fees. A lot of them are around 1,200 square feet, a lot of three bedrooms in there as well. And there's a couple different complexes to, to choose from. And then this area that we're entering into, this is a little commercial zone right in the middle of Twilliger Town. Go through a little traffic circle and you've got uh, your liquor stores, you've got some convenience stores, got Remedy Cafe, uh, Remedy Cafe for coffee, even have a, you know, a daycare, some salons, 
pharmacy. Just some of the essentials that are nice to have close by. And right here we've also got the Twilliger Community Church. Yeah, here's some bigger, more expensive houses in Twilliger Town. They, they definitely make up the minority of Twilliger Town, but they're still there. Because Twilliger Town's so popular, um, there's often not a ton of inventory. Like right now, there's not a lot of properties available for sale. And uh, if you were just looking at the stats from a monthly perspective, you could actually almost call it a seller's market. But that of course can change at any time. It does fluctuate a lot um, in individual neighborhoods, just depending on who happens to be wanting to sell their house right now and who wants to move into the area. So if you have something really specific that you're looking for, you might not have a ton of options. Um, if, whether you can be a little bit patient for, for buying a house, from a rental perspective, you'll be even more restricted. Uh, a lot of people looking for rentals in this area too. So we're coming up on Esther Starkman School, which is a popular school in the area. A lot of people are looking to move into Ligger Town and within this school's boundaries just so that they can get into that school because it is, it is full. Uh, a lot of the schools in the area are full, but you don't have much chance of getting in, I'm told, unless you live in its boundary area. So Twilliger Town is one of the main areas that gets you into that school. And then we've got another school here. This is a Catholic school. It's the Monsignor William Irwin Catholic Elementary School. Might have said that wrong. But those are the two schools in Twilliger Town. Here's some more front attached garage homes. turning back onto Town Center Boulevard, which is the road that we started on, and then I took a bit of a detour. Now, a lot of people say that like Twilliger Town feels like a small town within the city because of the way it's designed. And you already saw the local town square that we went by. take a closer look at one of the townhouse complexes. This one's right at the entrance of Twilliger Town on 23rd Avenue. I'm going to drive into this complex. So it's Mosaic Ridge. And these are cute little townhouses that uh, a lot of them have a attached double garage. There's a few that are a little different but for the most part. They're all these double attached garages. So it's, a, it's pretty similar to your typical modern sort of townhouse community where you've got the road that uh, everybody takes just to get to their garages. Otherwise, there's not a ton of activity on roads like this. Um, and you'll often have a, a back balcony that looks out over that area. But the front of the units have a little bit of green space depending on where they are in the complex. And there's also a little mini playground in the middle. One thing about Twilliger Town that not everyone's a huge fan of is that sometimes the roads can feel a little bit tight. Um, a lot of people do park on the roads, so it, it can get a little congested sometimes. Right now I'm in a pretty wide open spot, but if there was cars on both sides, sometimes you're in a situation where you gotta actually take turns with someone that's going in the opposite direction. And 
and the, and the roads are also quite winding, and, and, that, and that's part of making it feel like a sort of small town kind of thing. Some people are starting to get their Christmas lights on since it's starting to get a little bit darker. This will all look a lot different in the summer. I'll have to do another one in the summer, but this gives you a good idea. If you're watching this and it's not the winter right now and you're kind of curious what Twilliger Town will look like in the winter, this could give you a pretty good idea. Yeah, so Twilliger Town is pretty close to Windermere. Um, you can get there in like five or 10 minutes max, depending on what part of Twilliger Town you're in, it, how much traffic there is. And it's, it's not too far away from Southampton Common either. Like you could probably get there in 15 minutes. And since it's just off Twilliger Drive, you're sort of in between both the West End and the South Side. So it's really easy to quickly get to either one in a reasonable period of time. Yeah, so this is the area that's the closest uh, bigger shopping strip mall area next to Twilliger Town. So it's on uh, Rabbit Hill Road and 23rd Avenue. You've got a Save on Foods here, a bunch of other fast food shops. Uh, of course, you got a Tim Hortons, gas stations, a little bit of everything, several different banks. And it's basically on all four corners of the intersection. So there's shops on all different sides that you can check out. There's also an original Joe's there. Um, one restaurant I like, we already drove past it, it's called Heart. It's a good restaurant. More banks, got a good life fitness. Yeah, so there's a little bit of everything there. Okay, so we're gonna do a drive-by of the schools that are just north of 23rd Avenue. So we're gonna have, that's Lillian Osborne High School there. And then this is that ETS station, I believe it's called the Ledger ETS station. So that's pretty close. We're just on the other side of the road from Twilliger Town. And we're gonna do a quick drive by the Twilliger Rec Center as well. They've got a, a really nice pool there and a whole bunch of other sports activities that you can partake in as well as a gym. They've got a, a kind of a cool track that runs through the gym. And they've got two different membership options. It does go through this, like the city of Edmonton's like regular membership. It's part of one of the city of Edmonton rec centers. And uh, so the, the, the memberships are pretty reasonably priced. And for part of the year, there's actually a, a summer farmer's market in, in uh, the far side of the parking lot over here that could be pretty cool to go to in the summer, but it's a little too cold for that now since it was an outdoor one. So that is not happening anymore. The uh, pool is a salt water pool here at the Twilliger Community Recreation Center. And they do have a lot of like fitness classes as well that you can join and the gym is pretty big. This is the high school, a little closer to the high school. Lillian Osborne High School. So it's pretty cool that it's right next to the rec center. I know I probably would have liked that when I was in high school, but it didn't exist yet. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I said we were going to talk about some prices in Twilliger Town. So I wanted to give you some benchmark prices and that uh, would include three different benchmarks. For once, once for a one story, which would basically be a bungalow, a two story home and a townhouse. So if you're looking at one story homes or bungalows, the, the most typical bungalow in Twilliger Town would be $449,600 as of November 2021. That's the current benchmark price for that uh, type of home. And that home, it's going to have two bedrooms above grade, a totally finished basement, three bedrooms in total. That's gonna have normal siding, two full bathrooms, an attached double garage, 1,291 square feet, normal foundation, a detached home, and the average would be like built in 2002. So that's the benchmark for the bungalows in Twilliger Town. Obviously not every house is gonna cost that much, but that's sort of like what your typical bungalow would cost in Twilliger Town and, and what attributes it would have. And next would be two-story homes. The benchmark price for two-story homes in Twilliger Town is 421,600. And that would have three bedrooms above grade. It would have uh, two full bathrooms, an attached double garage, 1,503 square feet, one half bathroom, and it would also be a detached home built in around 2003. Again, that's the benchmark price of 421,600. Not every house is gonna cost that much, but the typical two-story home in Twilliger Town is currently going for that. And now for the typical townhouse, or the benchmark price for a townhouse in Twilliger Town is 250,500, and that's got two bedrooms above grade, two full bathrooms, an attached double width garage, and 1,199 square feet, and another half bathroom. And it's also going to be built around 2006. So all three of those are benchmark prices. If you wanted to get a better idea on what uh, houses would actually cost, it's, it's best to actually go and look on the MLS and feel free to reach out to me about that. And you can also download the most recent report on Twilliger Town. I've got a market report that you can download. Just look for the link in the description below. It'll take you to a page where you just put your name and email and I'll send you the Twilliger Town Edmonton Real Estate Market Report.